A beautiful day in Southern California. The sun is out, not a cloud in the sky, and we are ready for some outdoor boxing. The Bank of California Stadium, less than a year old, is welcoming top-ranked boxing on ESPN Plus for the first boxing event ever at this beautiful new stadium. Good afternoon, everybody, alongside World Championship trainer Brian Bo, Mac McIntyre, I'm Eric Rothman, and we are ready for top-ranked boxing and getting things underway with our undercard between Dimitri Yoon and Javier Martinez. Everything leading up to tonight's main event, the WBO Super Bantamweight title defense of Emmanuel Navarrete against Francisco de Vaca. Fight number one. Let's go to Lupe Contreras inside the ring. It's my great pleasure to welcome you all to the Bank of California Stadium for an evening of world championship boxing proudly presented to you by Hall of Fame boxing promoter Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated and being sponsored by Geico. Tonight's bouts are being sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission. Commissioner is John Carvelli. Our executive officer is Andy Foster. We start the evening with this bout. Set for six rounds or less in the lightweight division. Our judges at ringside scoring this bout are Eddie Hernandez Sr., Fernando Villarreal, and Alejandro Rochin. At the sound of the bell, the man in charge of the ring, referee Jack Race. <laughs> Presenting first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. He enters the ring wearing black with gold trim. He weighed in at an official 135 and one half pounds. In his second professional bout with a record of one victory, fighting out of the prestigious Agus Klimas Boxing Laboratory and hailing out of Chelyabinsk, Russia, Dmitry Yo! Across the ring in the red corner, wearing light blue with gold trim, he weighed in at an official 134 and one half pounds. He enters the ring for the 11th time as a pro with a record of four victories against six losses, three of those four victories coming by way of KO. Representing the ATX, Austin, Texas, El Nino de Oro, Javier Martinez. <laughs> So how do you sound to just a little bit high? I'm going to let him work in here. Don't bother. They're going to come right back up. I'm going to let the work go in here. See, Mappies? Mappies? I gave you guys both instructions. Just want to remind you to listen and follow my commands all the time. Protect yourself at all time. Fight hard. Fight clean. Good luck. Referee Jack Reese with the instructions. We see the tail of the tape. Yoon in his second professional fight. Nine, 11 years, the junior of Javier Martinez, who has been a pro for 19 years. Dimitri Yoon, as Lupe Contreras mentioned inside the ring, part of the Agus Klimas Boxing Laboratory. Bomac, you and I called his first fight a couple months ago at Pachanga Resort and Casino down in Temecula. He's a feisty little guy. Oh, yeah, he's, he, he definitely is. He's got a lot of experience, so, I mean, this is his. Oh, goodness. Dimitri Yoon goes down seconds into this first round. A flash knockdown for Javier Martinez. Javier Martinez threw that straight, I believe it was a straight left. Uh, Dimitri's right down, the, right down the pipe, a straight right. First knockdown of Yoon's young professional career. Martinez, a longtime pro, but just four and six with three knockouts in his career, fighting out of Austin, Texas. I wonder if, uh, if, uh, if, if the Demetrius can recover from that knockdown. If you look, look at Javier, Javier is pumped. I mean, he ready to go. Yoon is coming off a four round unanimous decision against Jose Antonio Mesa in his first professional fight. In that fight, Yoon was actually deducted a point for punching behind the head of Mesa after being warned multiple times. And as Bomack mentioned, a long, illustrious amateur career for Yoon, as are most of the fighters that fight for Agus Klimas. Man, this kid didn't have, what did he say, 250 amateur uh, yes. fights? That's correct. Fighting out of Russia. His father was an amateur boxing champ as well. And so Yoon now had to overcome the point deduction in his first fight, and now in his second fight, will have to overcome a knockdown in the first round from Javier Martinez. 
Good straight right from you and catches Martinez on the ropes. All of this leading up to our co-main events tonight here from Los Angeles. Jesse Magdaleno taking on Rafael Rivera in a featherweight contest. And then the WBO Super Bantamweight World Title Defense of Emmanuel Navarrete against Francisco De Vaca. An opportunity, Bo Mac, for Navarrete, who's coming off back-to-back -back wins against Isaac Dogbe, to really show he belongs as a champion in this division. He said that in the fighters' meeting earlier this week, he said that he really didn't feel like a champion fighting, fighting for the title and then defending it the first time with the same guy. So he feel like this is his first test as a champion. His first time headlining a card as the biggest name on the card as well. And if you want to make a name for yourself as a Mexican boxer, Los Angeles, California is a good place to do it. Oh, yeah, what is it, 85% Mexican fighters out here? Absolutely. Yeah, the Hispanic other percentage is <laughs> uh, well, Argentinians. Got, well, you've got, you you know, got the Klimas Laboratory, which has a lot of Eastern European boxers. Martinez oh. loses his mouthpiece with under 10 seconds to go here in the first round. Good exchange to finish round number one. Started round two between Dimitri Yoon and Javier Martinez. And Bomac, we were talking about Vegas Klimas and his boxing laboratory here in Southern California. Yoon, obviously, a part of that. Vasily Lomachenko, obviously, the most famous boxer to come out of Klimas' gym. But one thing that we know about Klimas, he picks guys that have had hundreds upon hundreds of amateur fights that have fought and are turning pro a little bit later in their career. And so Yoon, after getting knocked down in that first round, probably doesn't phase him as much given the experience that comes into this fight. Well, just the way he picked himself up off the, off the ring and then coming back, he could easily have made that an even round, that first round, yes. just the way he dominated towards the end of the round. But as you say, he picked those guys with a lot of fights. Because these guys want to come in here, they want to get right, right to business right away. They want to get these world title fights right away like uh, Lomachenko did. His like, first or second fight, he fought for the title. Absolutely. Martinez loses the mouthpiece for the second time. Referee Jack Reese not happy about that. Giving a stern warning to Martinez to keep the mouthpiece where it should be. As Bobak mentioned, Yoon had a nice finish that first round after getting knocked down in the first 15 seconds by Martinez. Good left hook from Yoon here nearing the midway point of round number two. Martinez looked like he didn't slow down a little bit, and Yoon just didn't pick it up, picked it up just a little bit more. Uh, Martinez probably, probably punched himself out that first round just going for that knockout. He went for it. Shot to the body from Yoon. He comes straight back with a left hand. Martinez, as mentioned, 36 years old to Yoon's 25 years old. Yoon in his second professional contest. The thing about Martinez, though, he still got that little sneaky power he had in, at the beginning of that round. So he slowed down. You can see he slowed down, but he, if he can land that right hand, he will. Martinez does land with a left hook, but it's been Yoon here in the second really dictating the terms of the fight. Nice bounce back round so far for Dimitri Yoon. Another Agus Klimas boxer is on this card as well. Janabek Alim Kanuli from Kazakhstan will be in his set with seventh pro fight later in this afternoon. A straight right hand from Dimitri Yoon rocks Martinez. Yoon hit, hit Martinez with that body shot to slow him down a little bit when he was trying to cut over here in this corner. So he came over the top with that right hand. Yoon picking apart Martinez here in the second. Convincing round thus far. Yoon staying stay to that body. Trying to take the, the gas out of the tank. Left hook to the body, left hook to the chin from Yoon. Great job of mixing up the punches here in this round. Great left uppercut and a rally from Yoon as time winds down here in the second. You can see Martinez is still trying to go for that knockout. And there goes the mouthpiece again for a third time. Martinez's mouthpiece falls out of his mouth. Well, the ref didn't wash it off, so he must be getting frustrated. Third and final warning for Martinez under 10 seconds to go here in the round. Another straight right. The exclamation on round two from Dimitri Yoon. 
Round three of a scheduled six between Dimitri Yoon and Javier Martinez. Bomack, what was working there for Yoon in the second? Well, d definitely going to that body was working for him. He's, he slowed Martinez down. Yeah, I like that little stab jab that he got to the body. It has stopped the momentum of Martinez coming forward. Started landing some power punches as well, and he picks up right where he left off. And you see how he goes upstairs with them with them head shots? Then he directed the automatic to go right downstairs. Right downstairs to that body. We call that a stab jab, slowing down a little bit. Try to take some of the air out of his tank. Sweeping left hook lands for Yoon around the guard of Martinez. And Yoon, very disciplined round two after getting knocked down in the first 10 seconds by Martinez of round number one. What Yoon, what Yoon has done now, as you can see, that when he steps in with that body shot, Martinez is be looking for it. So sometimes he'll turn into that wide hook and try to follow it up with the right hand. And he's also split the guard a couple times with some nice uppercuts. Yoon trying to go back to the body under two minutes to go here in the third. Martinez still having issues with that mouthpiece. It seems like every couple seconds it's on the verge of falling out of his that's, mouth. That's probably that body work. That's what Yoon is putting in on him. He go upstairs, then he come right back downstairs. He go upstairs, he come back downstairs. He go downstairs, and then come back upstairs. He directly go back downstairs. And yeah, Martinez is just flat-footed at this point. Yeah. He's not going anywhere. Omak talked about it, but Martinez came out with a, a fury and might have punched himself out there in round number one. Yeah, he, he, he doesn't look like he has anything left. He just, whatever he's throwing, he's throwing it just off of weird. And there goes the Will. mouthpiece again. Keep fighting. Keep fighting. And Rack Jack Reese says, keep fighting. Enough is enough with this mouthpiece. Fourth time the mouthpiece has fell out. And so now Javier Martinez fighting without a mouthpiece. We'll take the point sooner yeah, or later. It's going to be a point deduction. Maybe you had to borrow somebody else's mouthpiece. It doesn't fit. Supposed to, fit supposed to have right. two. Supposed to have two mouthpieces when you come to this ring. Well, he's got one that doesn't fit very well. Right one point and that's a one point deduction. One point for losing his mouthpiece. Alejandro, one point for losing his mouthpiece. So two. any equity that Martinez earned with the knockdown in round number one is now gone with a one point deduction here, here in the third Time for in. the mouthpiece violation. But frankly, that's a huge right hand from Yoon. And he tries to capitalize as Martinez barely staying on his feet. Yoon, said Mar Yoon stopped Martinez right dead in his tracks. Credit to Martinez for not going down on a monster right hand. And oh. there goes Yoon again. Oh. Yoon is staggered and down for the second time in this fight. I told you, I told you uh, Martinez got that little sneaky power. You better be careful, Yoon. I tell you what, Martinez has had two good punches in this whole fight, and both have resulted in a Dimitri Yu knockdown. Okay, so this is what it looked like now with uh, a point deduction and then a knockdown. It's like the beginning of the round. <laughs> <laughs> and now Yu trying to rebound again. Same situation he was in in round number one. And the mouthpiece falls out again for Martinez. At this point, just take it out. Here we Jack Reese, I mean, I don't think he noticed it. Oh, there you go. So the mouthpiece has fallen out five times. Dimitri Yoon, who was dominating the round, got knocked down for the second time. How do you score that round? I oh, made that round even, uh, even nine, round. Nine? A 9-9 nine, nine yep. round, yeah. <laughs> that, that Martinez, man, you know, <laughs> he has nothing to lose. Uh, he hasn't what? He hasn't uh, won a fight in almost two years. Yep. Well, so he's a 19-year he's a pro who's only fought 10 times. Right. And so, even though he's 36, still has some pop. There's the right hand that put Yoon down for the second time in this fight. What a wild ride to start this <laughs> bout sheet from... Los Angeles, California. Good fight to start this, yeah. <laughs> this whole card off. Makes sitting out in the 90 degree heat worth yeah. it. At least we got the shade though. Got the canopy above the ring. Dimitri Yoon comes out firing. He's not happy. No, I don't think Dimitri needs to be going straight back. I think he needs to be angling off like he was doing before. 
You need to stop squaring up after his punches. This is this side get caught. Straight right lands on the chin of Martinez. You know, that straight right is working because if you look at uh, uh, Yoon's footwork, he, he's, fa he's fainting with his feet. He will come in with the left hook right hand, which is good. That's good amateur background that he got, learning that yet real young. Yoon, the much more mobile fighter. Martinez has been economical, finding the power punches when he can get it on the counter. Big swing and a miss from Martinez. One minute into round number four. You see the frustration a little bit from you in there as he pushes Martinez out of the way. He's wondering why this guy won't go. I'm hitting everything with the kitchen sink. Well, Yoon rocked Martinez with a big right hand that I'm sure Yoon felt in the third round was enough to put Martinez down. And then all of a sudden, 10 seconds later, Martinez another flash knockdown. Yeah. So Martinez, he came for all six rounds if he can get it. <laughs> and the mouthpiece falls out again. But he, yeah, he catches he it, though. caught it that time. <laughs> well, listen, Bomac, I, I've never fought. Is it that hard to keep the mouthpiece in your no, mouth? No. It, it might not be fit, a fitted mouthpiece. Martinez wobbled. It might not be a fitted mouthpiece. Maybe that's not why it's, it's not sticking. Either way, the mouthpiece might have helped him avoid a knockdown right yeah. there. Because Martinez was on his way down, kind of caught himself, and then Jack Reese stopped the fight to make Martinez turn the mouthpiece around in his mouth. And that's an opportunity missed mm -hmm. because Dimitri Yoon could have capitalized on what was a big shot. All he had to do was stay on him, just keep punching. So the mouthpiece actually helping Martinez there. A wild fight this has been. Three punch combination from you and all three landing on the chin of Martinez. 30 seconds to go in the round number four. Yoon showing his defensive quickness as well. Uh, yeah, I like the, his hand speed. He's a good counter puncher. He's just, he just lacks his defense after that sometimes. See how uh, Yoon throws that right hand, that foot comes up and he squares up. This is how he get knocked, he get knocked down because he squares up. Martinez slowing down, not a whole lot left in his legs. Great news. There's a quick way you can save money. Switch to Geico. Geico can help you get great coverage at a great price. And it only takes 15 minutes. So flash knockdown in the first round from Martinez. Score that round 10-8. Yoon dominated the second. Yoon, then in the third, earned an extra point after Martinez had a point deducted for the mouthpiece falling out, but then seconds later, Yoon was knocked down again. So you score that one 9-9, nine, nine, you think. And then another good performance there in the fourth round for Yoon, a 10-9 round for him. But Yoon, who Lomac seem seemingly has, aside from two punches, dominated this fight. He's now looking like he really has to work here in rounds five, five and six to get this one done. Look at it. It looked like it, it could be a draw. Right. These last two rounds are important for both fighters. Come here, come on, get over here, man. Number five. Javier. Round number five, number five schedule five. six. Eric Two Rothman, ago. Brian Bobak, McIntyre. We are here at the Bank of California Stadium, the home of LAFC of Major League Soccer. The new team in town. Two soccer teams in Los Angeles now, LA Galaxy and LAFC. Will Ferrell, famously an owner of the new LAFC expansion team. Talking about the actor? Yes, oh, the wow. actor and comedian, yes. When is he going to show up tonight? <laughs> be nice to see. There he goes. Get him in there and referee, referee a match. Bring some concessions down to ringside. <laughs> That'd be nice. <laughs> At least a fan. <laughs> a portable air conditioning unit would be nice. About 90 degrees here ringside. Left hook straight right from Yoon. And again, there's that lapse in defense from Yoon. He almost went down again. Yeah. You know, you got to give it to Martinez. Martinez got some power. He, one thing about him, he sets down on his power, too. And it's wild. It comes from any, any direction. And Martinez has shown he can take a big punch, too. Punching the body, Lance flush for Yoon. 
Stop my brakes, step away from each other. Okay, If you watch this fight, Bo Mack, aside from those two knockdowns, as we mentioned, you would think Dimitri Yoon was dominating the fight. But again, yeah. as you mentioned, right now could be a draw because of the knockdowns. Yeah, that sneaky power of uh, Martinez. If Dimitri's ain't careful, he just keeps sitting inside with him like that. Keep sitting inside with him like that and not turning out and not keeping them hands a little high. He might get subject to another knockdown. Well, Martinez's mouthpiece fell out for a sixth time. He's already been deducted one point for losing the mouthpiece. See how Yoon you know, squares up? And then uh, Martinez just come with that wild hook with that right hand. Two right hooks in a row from Yoon on the temple of Martinez. Martinez again just standing there and taking it. Yeah, Martinez got that good granite chin on him. The mouthpiece goes flying after the right hook from Yoon. Martinez not stopping. Jack Reese, the referee, lets the fighters keep going. Wouldn't be surprised if there's another point deduction coming here from Martinez. Left hook lands from Yoon under 30 seconds to go in round number five. Yoon, you, you need to stick to that body. And here comes, I believe, a point deduction. The seventh time the mouthpiece has fallen out for Javier Martinez. And this is the second point deduction for the same violation. It happened in round three, and now again in round number five. Two knockdowns against you and two mouthpiece violations against Martinez. Oh, and a quick combination from you and after the break. He got some good speed on him. Blistering assault from Dimitri Yoon. Another dominant round from him. And another mouthpiece goes yeah, see, to the floor. Yeah, look at the mouthpiece, it's not fitted. Yeah. That's why it won't stay in. So Dimitri Yoon gets back another point after the deduction against Javier Martinez. And now in our second fight of Yoon's career, Omak, both you and I have been there at ringside for both of his professional fights. In the first fight, when he was deducted a point for fighting and punching behind the head, it seemed like Yoon was getting very frustrated and easily frazzled. In this fight, a lot more composure. Well, it comes along with experience, man, when you're underneath these lights and, and uh, uh, there's no headgear or no shirts on and smaller gloves. So, hey, you learn, a, you learn a little bit from each fight. So hopefully, or as we can see, he's learning to just learn a little bit more. Sixth and final round between these two. Dimitri Yoon looking to stay undefeated in his second pro fight. Martinez has made him work for it, though. Yoon has done a great job displaying his variety of punches. Olmec has talked about throughout the entire fight, working off the body shots and then coming around the guard with big hooks. There's a left hook that lands on the button for Yoon as he tries to escape the corner. I like how he set that up, too, man. He set it up off the jab and then threw that hook. Despite being knocked down twice in this fight, Dimitri Yoon has really dominated for long stretches. It's like every bit of the round, and, and except for those drops. Every bit and every second until he's trying to pick himself up off the can canvas. Left-right combination for Yoon. Under two minutes to go in the final round. Another left hook, straight right. Martinez is wobbled again. And Martinez for a lot of this fight has really been a punching bag as well. Pretty much, you know, he, he, he has nothing to lose. Everything, he, he, if he wins this game for him, beating an uh, uh, Olympian. A guy 11 years yeah. younger than him. Oh, yeah. Highly touted prospect. First fight on the card here from Bank of California Stadium. Overhand left from Yoon lands. 
You don't need to stay to that body. If you just stay to the body, go downstairs and come back upstairs, he might be able to finally drop a Martinez. Five fights on this undercard on ESPN Plus, and then the main events tonight on ESPN at 10 Eastern, 7 Pacific. Emmanuel Navarrete defending his WBO Super Bantamweight title against Francisco De Vaca. Looked like uh, Ewan just having his way with Martinez. Well, that's what we thought throughout most of this fight, but then all of a sudden, twice, Martinez has scored knockdowns. <laughs> and now for an eighth time, Martinez's mouthpiece falls out. And some booze here from these fans who have gotten so tired somebody of Somebody left the mouthpiece at the, at the gym or they left it back at the hotel. Straight right from Yoon, under 25 seconds to go in the final round. Dimitri Yoon has put in good work to earn his second victory of his career. Couple things to work on though coming out of this fight after he was knocked down twice. Better go back and do some uh, head exercises, strengthen that neck up because I bet you didn't expect to get dropped the first punch of the fight. We'll get the decision between Yoon and Martinez when we return. Top ranked boxing on ESPN Plus from Los Angeles, California. Dimitri Yoon, the highly touted prospect from Russia, looking for the second victory of his career. He was knocked down twice in this fight. However, his opponent, Javier Martinez, was also deducted two points throughout the course of the fight for not being able to keep his mouthpiece in his mouth. And both Bomak and myself think it should be a clean victory for Dimitri Yoon, but we are waiting on the scorecards. A wild fight to start our card here in Los Angeles. And it looks like all cards have been turned in, and Lupe Contreras is ready to make the announcement on the victor of this fight. Dimitri Yoon looking to stay undefeated in his young professional career. Lupe. Ladies and gentlemen, after six rounds, judges Hernandez Sr. and Villarreal turn in identical scores of 57 to 54. And Judge Rochin scores it 56 to 54. All for the winner, by way of unanimous decision. <laughs> Dimitri Yo! You know what, I will say this about Martinez. He came in, he came in fault, and he realized that, you know, he couldn't really do too much with Demetrius. But all the way to the end, he's tried all the way to the end. And, and what I like about him, what he did here at the end for the decision, he still believed in his mind that he won the fight. Well, Martinez, if he would have had those two points from the mouthpiece, it's a one-point fight. Yeah, yeah. Dimitri Yoon wins it. We will step aside, and when we return, our next bout between Javier Molina and Manuel Mendez here from the Bank of California Stadium in Los Angeles, California.